Uh, hi, good morning, everyone. Are you spending uh, too many here. hours trying to find a... So, maybe we just since we are growing harder in the third year, most of the world is not in the world, but let's start with the process. Complex requirements, seeing the telling of files and invoices, with outdated legacy workflow-based systems, we lack business visibility, and in that way, we take a ton of money. Such complex, error-prone legal processes can impact your entire ear chain. Enter ear chain. This is the nervous system for all your source-to-pay operations. Ear chain learns from data across your systems, as well as each and every user interaction and transaction to optimize the procurement process while ensuring operational excellence. This intelligence powers an army of smart bots to amplify the efficiency of the source to pay process. You can create a requisition in a matter of seconds by sharing your requirements with chat with your product. AirSource analyzes your requirements based on your line patterns and processes that have made the right channels while constantly improving with every user interaction. AirSync predicts the pricing by analyzing historical buying trends and negotiation histories with vendors on a category basis. AirCron automates the follow-up process holistically for your team and your vendors through the cycle times with blazing fast. AirScan uses OCR to automatically extract data from your invoices. In an air match, Paul verifies data from your invoices, POs, and GRNs to maximize invoice automation. AirRico enables you to maintain compliance and automate tax reconciliation. Also, reconciles the vendor's account statements against your accounts, giving real-time visibility to vendors. With an air assist, you can give your vendors visibility by instantly answering their queries, thus enhancing their experience. And finally, AirChain provides a 360-degree visualization with inbuilt analytics and reports builder. With our highly configurable platform, you can go live in a matter of days. Design your processes the way you want, maximize transparency and visibility, increase cost saving, and speed up your process to skyrocket your efficiency. Why wait? Visit airchain.io to know more. Uh, that's a little teaser about what we were actually. Uh, Are you spending too As explained here, trying to so, I mean, we fill all the gaps that we have had, right? I mean, digital procurement is on the way, but with more and more digital focus from enterprises, the needs and the gaps have been more clearly identified. What are the gaps that we have today in the market? And that's where we come into picture to fill in the gaps and try to solve it in our unique way. So, a couple of things which I would want to focus on today. Uh, I mean, first, first of all, I'd like to thank Panic Sir. Most of the problems, uh, what we are trying to solve, have been very clearly and obviously explained. What users or enterprises are looking today. First uh, thing is the intelligent automation. Uh, well, just to give some instances, right? Today, if you go on examples, better way to understand how AI would help us, I sit on YouTube. I really don't make a playlist or search for anything. Depending on the time of the day or the week and, you know, my mood at that point and my previous patterns, YouTube kind of curates the list for me and you know, plays it across. I don't have to spend any time searching for content there. Same thing with Siggy, right? Uh, whenever I time of the day, what is it I don't want to order Siggy? Almost most everything about me I try to. I spend less than 30 seconds on why what I need to do and of course it's getting delivered as early as possible today. So how do you use intelligent automation coming to the B2B world, especially in Tokyo, and help us automate most of the uh, let's say repetitive activities, either in terms of sourcing, in terms of negotiation, in terms of invoice processing, in terms of quality of the supplies, so on and so forth. Or as simple as, you know, assisting the queries. And the second part is the intuitiveness. As we all know, no one has taught us to use Google or a Gmail or any other B2C app if you do, right? Why do we need training materials? Why do we need uh, uh, hours of uh, money sign out? How, how can you make it very intuitive? Well, any type of supplier, any type of user, irrespective of the department, can get on the platform and get started in a matter of days. Uh, right? These are the two things which Airplane tries to focus on. And beyond that, right, I mean, most uh, uh, procurement uh, functions or platforms are workflow-based systems, meaning 
You are bringing the paper-based process or the linear-based process onto a digital platform, saying you need people to do it. So it's mostly people telling the system what to do. We are trying to turn the tables around, wherein the system guides the users on what to do and does most of it based on your patterns, learning from every category manager or buyer overall. And then, uh, these are primarily the most of it and how we try to solve, I'd like to focus on uh, that. First thing, you have different uh, categories of procurement. You have services, you have MROs, you have direct materials, you have packaging and logistics. How do you configure the system, right? Most of, the, most of our customers, this is working with 100 plus enterprises uh, in our experience, you see, most of the customers are trying to force their existing process, doing a lot of bulk of the work in Excel sheets, doing the calculations, and finally capturing it as an attachment in the Excel sheet. And you know, you, instead of using the main, you're using the platform to do this. So how can you configure your system to accommodate any categories requirements? How do you use AI across the field? And how do you uh, <coughs> make the interface very friendly where you don't have to learn anything at all, right? So this is a snapshot of you know how we enable such kind of an automation, right? Starting from how the end user can get onto their Slack channel, Slack channel, or even an email, uh, right? Chat with the system on what they're looking for. The system will guide to the right goods and services, and you create a PR in the back end. You don't have to fill in those, you know, remember those three codes or remember those, uh, you know, ten uh, things that you would not know what it is used for an account at a later point in time. The system understands the category, the department requirement, creates a PR in the back end. Air source, based on your historical buying patterns and the learning what it has seen uh, from the users, tries to identify the right channels. On your okay, this is the right contract to process the sample. This is the purchase order which was recently negotiated by another department. Or these are the right vendors based on the vendor ratings available, right? How do I identify them? And then also look at what is the right price I've been buying it at. What does this how does this vendor negotiate? What is the general negotiation practices in a particular category? These are the things that save us. And then of course it's converted into a PO, it's configurable to match all of your approval processes on mobile, on WhatsApp, on Slack, name it. it the, we take the technology to your platform, right? You really don't have to learn a lot about your new platform, we take it to your existing platform, making change management a breeze for you all. And then the a downstream process, where vendors have a complete visibility on the POs, what is the depth to deliver, the terms what they're negotiated with you, and how easily can they submit an invoice on WhatsApp? Take a photo of your invoice. Rest is taken care of by the system. Right? In terms of extracting the data without having to do any rules, any templates. I mean, we have seen a lot of invoice processing exercises where making templates is such a huge task that an output seems to code or write all the rules to match a template of an invoice. We use deep learning to be able to extract data with the best accuracy in the industry without any training from day one. And as we start processing more invoices, it learns from your users where is this particular fleet and tries to get close to 70% uh, at the end of the day, matching with the right videos and invoices, you can get up to 80% of invoice automation touches. When I say touches, it is truly touches, there is no involvement of anyone from the AP team or the procurement team. All, you, all it needs to <coughs> get is a document as a PDF or an image format. The uh, system does the uh, rest. With, of course, all the compliance checks, all the GHC checks, whether a particular vendor is registered as filing the GAC so on so forth. And yeah, we have a, a error group which helps uh, vendors do their reconciliation themselves without having to talk to anyone from the procurement team. I mean, in our experience, we have been a buyer ourselves while we are trying to aggregate the entire material, right? Suppliers have a lot of queries and most of them are on, you know, hey, my data is not matching with your data. So system does it all. And we also have an error assist which helps them what are most of their queries, right? You know, in real time, how it can be uh, done. <coughs> While there's a lot of automation, I remember some of us telling the, in the morning that you have to be modular, you have to take one step at a time and you know, get started. So we offer our solutions, modular, completely modular, starting with sourcing, procurement, AP automation, and page spread automation, which is coming out to be a problem uh, these days. Uh, I will not really go deep into this. We have a booth, would love to talk more about you for anyone who is looking for to solve any of this, one or multiple challenges here. So, there's a little bit about this. I mean, 
we are growing and we are growing along with our customers together with some of our customers we are building industry first uh, problems and some of the unique problems in a unique uh, way so in that context instead of me telling about you know, how we are doing how working with that thing means to you uh, i would like to invite one of our customers the premium customers uh, to talk on our behalf and see what is that we have done together right over the last one year so here i welcome pritam uh he is a global director from abbev and we'll share our journey of you know, how it has been working together with both of us right abbev we know interaction almost we use it on daily basis or a weekly basis uh, all the best brands like corona uh, budweiser they are the <coughs> manufacturers welcome to them thank you sir Yeah. 
So, so I think, think first, first of all, uh, again giving you a context in the uh, countries that we are operating, each of them had their own ERP. So we had six codes. In some countries, there was a thought process of implementing SAPS for Han, and each of them had a different roadmap of uh, technology maturity. Uh, I think for us to kind of have the API-based approach that uh, I think ASC and you guys uh, provided, I think that helped us to want kind of take care of all these different ecosystem challenges that we kind of primarily had. Uh, one of the major challenges with uh, Africa and it's very similar to uh, our uh, markets in India and Vietnam also is adoption. And um, I think one of the things which like I think we really like is the high user adoption because even like a uh, few weeks ago, uh, ARK was uh, close to around 90 to 93 percent in terms of total adoption of the user base that we have and I think the best part is the feedback that we are receiving from our suppliers because before we actually started the implementation, uh, we started with the problem statement because most of our previous technology implementation has been around what we as a company want. And I think one of the things which we have been, we have been focusing on now is what do my end stakeholders want. So in this case, suppliers, our partners, etc. And uh, when we started the journey, there was a very negative feedback of you know how it is difficult to deal with our procurement team, how information flow is not there, and primarily it rests with the business team to let the supplier know when the payment should be done and what time it will be processed, etc. I think the best feedback that we are receiving is from our suppliers is that you know they don't need to reach out to people. Um, uh, you know there is no multiple. They, they log in, their IDs are created, and they get real instant alerts both on WhatsApp as well as uh, the different channels that you know any invoice that they have submitted where they are in terms of the procurement process. And I think the overall net promoter score, which has been one of our key KPIs, has been measured in this implementation has has been significantly improved as well as the payment of time which has moved from close to 60 percent to almost 96 percent. Right. I mean, I personally myself trained a lot of these suppliers in Africa. Imagine when I say this, they haven't used any other tool than let's say uh, Microsoft Excel, right? And we could see the curiosity and how they were able to explore themselves and get started with the platform. Right now we are seeing more than, for some of the countries, uh, more than 95 percent of the suppliers use it seamlessly without having to call any one of us. The user experience has been uh, a great thing, what we have seen overall in our journey. And the final things, uh, maybe you could talk about few other metrics what we have achieved for you in the entire process. NPS is one among them. What yeah, are the other things? Yeah, I think in, um, NPS, uh, you know, the overall process automation that you have achieved, uh, the seamless journey that, you know, I think as as our so our global back office also is in India, and I think the overall satisfaction survey uh, from both our uh, business functions as well as our uh, operating teams in India has been significantly high. But I think one thing which I like to kind of uh, you know focus uh, more closely on is as an organization procurement. So as an organization, we are we always look at what are the different new revenue areas that we can drive on and. Um, to give you an example of scale, Africa alone is around two billion dollars of procurement. We always say that that's something that needs to be better managed and more value can be delivered. So I think with ARK, um, we have been one able to drive significant uh, uh, better efficiencies, and we are using the data from ARK to focus on providing technologies like e option so that there is more competitive bidding. Uh, we have used the uh, data again to build products like supply chain finance and I think the biggest part is you know and as part of uh, our role we are looking at enabling financial ecosystem for both our suppliers and our consumers and the data from AHN also provides us uh, create new products and services like providing credit and other financial tools for our suppliers because it gives us a completely wholesome view of what you know the identity of the business who is dealing with us and what are the different uh, products and services both which can be taken from them and could be sold okay thanks a lot uh, Peter. i mean this is one among the first success stories but you know together we can create a lot more and we based out of bangalore and india definitely have come across a lot of indian use cases and would love to work together learn each other understand the problems and see where we can collaborate or solve it uh, together Thanks, Sweetums. Thank you. Thank you.